Yeah, I keep receiving questions like how to withdraw from Trust Wallet to your bank account, your local bank account. All right, now this is how to withdraw funds from Trust Wallet to your local bank account. It's as simple as ABC. You also want to have great testimonials like so many persons who have watched my videos, keep having and keep sending every single time. Talking about the corporate phone, money online, and so many stuff like that. So you want to be sure that you are actually subscribed to my channel and open the notification bell button so that whenever I upload a video, you'll be the first to see this video. Now, what you need is I assume you already have a trust wallet and if you don't have a trust wallet, trust wallet is a place where you actually store your funds, it's a decentralized wallet where you store your funds, okay? And then if the next thing you need is you need an exchange, we have different exchanges, we have Binance, we have uh, Hobby Exchange, we have KuCoin and the list of them, these are the ones I use. If you don't have uh, any exchange register if you don't if you have not registered for any exchange please find the link in the description of this video now let's say you want to withdraw uh, a crypto from your trust wallet to your bank account first of all you need an exchange exchange is the intermediary between you and your bank while your trust wallet is just a place a decentralized place where you store your crypto as you can see on trust wallet there is no single button that tells you to withdraw to your bank account instead what you can see that actually try to connect to your bank on trust wallet is when you are buying no direct withdrawal okay and if trust wallet add the direct withdrawal then it will take off that middleman yeah, which is the bank all right all right which is the exchange all right so now you need an exchange so let's say you want to withdraw binance smart chain to your bank account your local bank account now what you need to do is you send this bmb send the bmb to your binance and then you send the bmb either use the direct withdrawal to your bank account or you set it through uh, the P2P. The same thing applies to every other exchanges, either Hobby or KuCoin. So if I'm using KuCoin, I'll go through the same process. All right. Now, the uh, there are cases whereby you want to withdraw cryptos that are not actually on Binance. Okay. In those cases, uh, don't worry, I got you. Now, those cryptos, most times, one thing you have to know is that most times those cryptos are actually listed on an exchange like Hobby. Or if not, if they are not on hobby, they are on on uh, like KuCoin, uh, KuCoin, and how you can find them is by literally searching for them. So what I'm talking about is actually KuCoin wallet, not KuCoin exchange. So you don't miss, don't mistake in that. All right. So how you can find some of this exchange is you can go to like your KuCoin, click on deposit and search them out if i'm looking for a crypto like let's say uh let's say uh ufo i have to search ufo and then find it and then send it here after sending it here then i'll i'll just convert it into usdt and then send to my bank account my local bank account through the p2p option but in the case where none of the crypto you want to send to your bank account is not on all of these exchanges and let's say you bought it from decentralized exchange like uh, metamax sorry like um, pancake swap or uniswap now all you have to do for instance let me say i'm using this gen genesis finance okay this is not an advert for this crypto it was just a test crypto and since i bought it, that's that's roll all the way down yeah so just about to 0 0.90 dollars so all right so now what you need to do is go to pancake swap when you go to pancake swap now you need to convert this particular crypto into smart chain like exchange it into a, a popular crypto like let me tap genesis genesis So now you need to convert it into either USDT, either USDT or BNB. All right. So if I convert all of these 
to bnb this is how much bnb i will get so i wouldn't want to do this conversion right now because to take transaction fee which is even more than the crypto itself so once you convert it to bnb now you will have all the value of the money in bnb right now when you have it all in bnb now the next thing you need to do is go to your binance for instance when you get to your binance you go click on spot wallet or deposit option click on deposit then tap on bnb or you search bnb now mind you if we did the swap on pancake swap then it's probably on smart chain address so you need to take note of the network so you don't lose all of your funds trying to withdraw so tap on smart chain copy the address then come to trust wallet come to trust wallet click on send paste the address enter maximum that is if i'm sending or if i'm not sending or let's say i want to send like one dollars or something or let's say i want to send yeah let's say i want to send like one dollar tap on it and change it to one dollars then tap tap continue so and then i can now send this so i successfully sent this amount from my one dollar from my trust wallet to binance i've received notification that it has gone out so i'll have to come to my binance and tap here to see it has not yet reflected right it hasn't reflected it then if it hasn't reflected you have to click on this drop down on KuCoin, this is not the same i'll show you how cool coins looks like click on the drop down it will show you the crypto actually coming in so you can see it coming in right here so while we are waiting for this confirmation to be completed then i need to show you how cool coins looks like uh on cool coin if you, a crypto is coming in like that let's say i sent the crypto and it's coming in like that now you, you know by now you have to click on spot wallet which is like main wallet on cool coin on cool coin you have to leave your tab at overview then click on that uh icon there that is this particular one right here yeah it equally shows transaction history and the particular crypto that is coming in so if you are depositing the particular crypto that's coming in shows here if you are sending which if you are withdrawing that you're sending to another wallet the crypto going out the confirmation shows there so that's how it works on KuCoin. then on hobby on hobby hobby is a bit uh they all have the same interface but it's a bit different meanwhile i'm just explaining this so that you guys will understand and why we are waiting for the transaction to be completed on hobby let's say we tap on assets now if it on hobby you have to tap on uh, asset history okay to see crypto coming in asset asset history then the crypto uh, history to show the one that you've sent out the one that uh, is still confirming okay there you find all the transaction history both buying and selling on this uh, this uh, hobby exchange all right so now we're on our binance what we need to do is tap again to see if it or oh, the deposit is actually completed let me refresh this on a refresh my binance you see it right there okay it's it's finally in all right now now that it's on my binance exchange in most country in most countries i don't know you need to check your own country you will find a direct withdrawal here to your bank account all right you find a direct withdrawal but in country like mine that like nigeria that crypto is not really accepted or something is not yet accepted like that you have to go through the where pair to pair withdrawal that's p2p so now i have to tap on a uh, uh, funding wallet now it's in funding wallet you find all the depositing or withdrawal details that you need to find now tap on uh p2p sell okay what i'm actually doing is selling so now i tap on within the range i want let's say 700 because uh one thousand uh hundred one dollar is like about 740 tap on it unfortunately there are no ads within that range okay there are no ads within that range but let's say i wanted something within the range of let's say 
and uh, 10,000. So I tap on it. So I'll see add within the range of 10,000. I can tap on anyone I want to set to. But tap on that one. I can click or if there's any USD, then choose my banking details and then set to this person. Once I set to this person, I'll wait for this person to send me the money. Do not confirm until you have received an alert. Once you receive an alert and you've confirmed that you've received the money, then you can come back and release the money to the person. So that's how to actually withdraw from Trust Wallet. Okay, it's just a straightforward something to throw by NAS to your bank account. That's through an exchange to your bank account. So you wanna hit that subscription button right now, subscribe and see you in my next video.